Most gamers blame their hardware when performance drops, but what if I told you the real bottleneck is hidden inside Windows itself? In this video, we're not talking about generic advice, we're diving deep into the core of your operating system, uncovering overlooked settings and tweaks that can instantly boost FPS, eliminate stutters, and unlock true performance in any game you play. Step 1. Optimize CPU and GPU resource allocation via registry editor for maximum gaming performance. In most low and mid-tier systems, Windows does not automatically prioritize game processes, often dividing your CPU and GPU power equally between background services and your game. This default behavior can silently ruin your FPS, cause input delay, and create random stutters. This step is all about redirecting your PC's full attention to your game by manually adjusting how Windows handles your system's resources using the registry editor. These tweaks force Windows to allocate more power to your GPU and CPU for gaming, helping your system deliver smoother, more responsive performance across all games. To start, open your search bar and type registry editor. Right click on it and select run as administrator so you have the necessary permissions to make these changes. Inside the registry editor, copy the path I've provided in the video description and paste it into the address bar at the top. Press enter and it will take you straight to the correct registry location without the need to dig through folders manually. Now let's apply the specific tweaks. First, find the affinity entry. Double click on it and set its value data to F in hexadecimal. This setting makes sure that your CPU focuses more on the gaming process by binding the thread affinity to all available cores, especially useful in multi-core processors. Then locate background only and change its value to false. This tells Windows to stop reserving unnecessary power for background tasks, which means your game now gets more attention from both CPU and memory. Next. Find GPU priority and change its value to E, hexadecimal. This prioritizes your game's graphics workload over other less important visual processes running in the background. Now adjust the priority entry to six. This change increases the execution priority for your game, meaning Windows will schedule game tasks faster than others. Look for scheduling category and change it to high. This sets your game's scheduling group to a high priority category, ensuring better responsiveness, especially in demanding scenarios. Finally, find FSIO priority and set it to high. This tweak boosts how fast your game accesses system data, which is especially useful for open world or asset heavy games. After applying all these changes, close the registry editor and restart your PC for the tweaks to take full effect. By doing this, your system will stop wasting resources on unnecessary background tasks and instead give more power and attention to your game. You'll notice smoother gameplay, improved responsiveness, and a noticeable uplift in FPS, especially during intense scenes. Step two, disable Nagel's algorithm and offload settings for lag-free online gaming. When playing online games, every millisecond counts, and unfortunately, your system's default network configuration can quietly sabotage your experience. Nagel's algorithm and certain offloading features are designed for data efficiency, not speed. While they're useful for general browsing or file transfers, they often introduce delays in real-time communication, which leads to input lag, rubber banding, and inconsistent responsiveness during multiplayer gaming. This step helps eliminate that delay, giving you a more fluid and accurate connection in all your online matches. To begin optimizing your network settings, press Windows plus X on your keyboard and select Device Manager from the menu. Once Device Manager opens, expand the Network Adapter section. Here, locate your currently active network device, whether it's your Ethernet, wired adapter, or your Wi-Fi card. Right-click on your active network adapter and choose properties from the list. This will open a new window with several configuration tabs. Switch to the advanced tab. Here, you'll find a list of settings that control how your network hardware handles data. Scroll through the list until you find two important entries. TCP, checksum, offload, IPv4 or IPv6. Large send offload, also listed as LSO. 
Select each of these one by one and change their values to disabled from the drop down menu on the right. Disabling these offload functions forces your system to handle data transmission directly rather than leaving it to your network card's firmware, eliminating artificial delays and keeping your network response immediate. Once you've adjusted both settings, click OK to apply the changes and close the window. You may notice a short flicker in your network connection as the settings take effect. That's normal. After applying this tweak, your system will stop trying to optimize data flow in a way that hurts gaming performance. You'll experience lower latency, fewer lag spikes, and much more precise input handling, which can be the edge you need in competitive gameplay. Step three, install the ultimate gaming performance pack to unlock full FPS potential. To push your system's limits even further and unlock every bit of hidden performance, it's time to download the ultimate gaming performance pack a complete set of carefully tested tweaks designed to make your PC run faster, smoother, and more stably while gaming. Head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. You'll find the link right there in the video description. Once you're on the site, go to the FPS boost section and find the post with the exact same title and thumbnail as this video. It's easy to spot. Scroll down a little and you'll find a direct download link with no signups or redirects. Just click and download. Inside the pack, you'll find multiple .reg files. These are registry editor tweaks designed to optimize your system at a deep level. From reducing background processing delays to prioritizing gaming tasks over Windows bloatware, each file plays a specific role in eliminating unnecessary system load. To apply them, run each .reg file individually by double-clicking on them and confirming the prompt. That's all it takes. Next, locate the MSI utility tool inside the downloaded pack. Right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator to make sure it launches with proper access. Once open, the utility will show a list of all devices that support message signaled interrupts, MSI mode. First, locate your network adapter in the list and set its priority to high. Then, find your GPU and also set its priority to high. After setting both, check the boxes next to the devices you want to enable MSI mode on and then click apply to save everything. Finally, restart your computer so the changes can take effect. This tweak improves how your CPU communicates with both your network card and GPU, leading to lower latency and faster hardware level responsiveness. Perfect for smoother online gameplay and more stable graphics performance. Now, open the folder containing the ultimate Windows tweaker tool, launch it and then navigate to the performance tab. Apply all the settings I've recommended, which are focused on cutting down unnecessary animations, services, and background activities. For example, disable auto start programs and unresponsive app recovery. Turn off smooth scrolling and edge preloading to reduce memory usage. Disable background services like tablet input service, Windows Security Center, and especially the prefetch service, which slows down disk performance on older or low-end systems. Once done, switch to the additional Network Tweaks section. Apply all the recommended changes, including enabling your onboard network processor, limiting access to anonymous logins, disabling unnecessary features like recent shares and default admin shares, hiding your PC from network discovery for improved privacy and fewer background interruptions. Click, apply tweaks, and allow the program to prompt a system restart. This ensures every background task, service, and network setting gets refreshed under the new configuration. After restarting, you'll notice your system feels snappier, cleaner, and more game ready. Finally, go ahead and install MemReduct from the performance pack. Once launched, it will show you your current memory usage in real time. At the bottom, click the clear memory button. This will immediately free up unused RAM, making your system lighter and more efficient. It's especially useful when you're running multiple apps or heavy games and notice performance starting to dip. You can click clear memory as often as needed. There's no harm and no reboot is required. It's a lightweight tool, but the boost it gives your system is genuinely noticeable. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description.
After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 4. Disable HPT service for smoother gameplay and reduced FPS drops. HPET, or High Precision Event Timer, is a hardware timer built into most modern motherboards. While it was designed to offer precise timing for applications, it often creates micro-latency issues in gaming environments, especially on certain hardware combinations. Many users report random FPS drops, uneven frame pacing, or delayed system responsiveness when HPET is active. Disabling it can help streamline how your system handles background timing, resulting in a more fluid and responsive gaming experience. Here's how to disable HPET directly from your device settings. Start by pressing Windows plus X on your keyboard and selecting Device Manager from the menu that appears. Inside Device Manager, scroll down and expand the System Devices section. This will show a list of system level components currently running on your machine. From here, look for High Precision Event Timer in the list. Once you locate it, right click on High Precision Event Timer and select Disable Device. Confirm the prompt that appears to finalize the change. Disabling this device prevents Windows from relying on it for timing operations, which can reduce the overhead that causes FPS inconsistencies in certain games. If you notice any system instability or performance dips after applying this tweak, you can simply return to Device Manager, right-click HPET again, and choose Enable Device to restore its functionality. But for most setups, especially in gaming-focused PCs, turning off HPET results in noticeably smoother gameplay, reduced stutter during fast-paced action, and small but consistent FPS improvements, making this a simple yet powerful optimization for any gamer. Step 5. Disable unnecessary Windows services to free up system resources for gaming. Windows runs a long list of background services by default, many of which serve no purpose for gaming and quietly consume valuable system resources. These services use up CPU cycles, RAM, and even network bandwidth, leading to slower performance, delayed load times, and unexpected stutters in games. By disabling a few of the most unnecessary ones, you can significantly improve system responsiveness, reduce background clutter, and unlock smoother, more stable gameplay. To begin, open your Windows search bar, type Services, and click on the matching result to launch the Services Manager. You'll now see a list of all active and inactive background services currently running on your system. Let's go through a few key services you should disable right now. BitLocker Drive Encryption If you're not using BitLocker to encrypt your drives, this service is completely unnecessary. Right-click it, go to Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled and then click Stop. Hit Apply and OK to finalize the change. Connected User Experiences and Telemetry this service constantly sends diagnostic and user behavior data to Microsoft. It's not needed for gaming and only adds unnecessary background load. Right-click it, select Properties, set Startup Type to Disabled, click Stop and confirm with Apply and OK. Distributed Link Tracking Client. This one tracks file links across network drives, something most gamers never use. Disable it the same way, right-click, Properties, Set startup type to disabled, click stop, then apply and OK. Remote registry. 
This service allows remote access to your registry, which is not only unnecessary, but also poses a potential security risk. Right click it, go to properties, change the startup type to disabled, stop the service and save your changes. Windows Update. If you prefer manually checking for updates, especially to avoid unexpected performance drops during gaming, you can set this to manual or even disabled. Right click it, open properties, select your preferred startup type, click stop, then apply and OK. After adjusting these services, close the services manager and restart your PC. The changes will take effect on reboot, reducing the number of background operations that drain your system's power. By disabling these non-essential services, you're giving your CPU and RAM more breathing room, resulting in faster system response, improved loading times, and smoother in-game performance, especially on low to mid-tier systems. And that's it. These optimizations will boost your FPS and make your games run smoother than ever. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more performance tips. Thanks for watching. Peace out.